What's up, Zion? How y'all feeling? All right, so I'm finna play um, just a recap of this little argument I got into uh, with uh, Corey Christian or Christian Christian Corey, whatever the hell. Um, you know, I want y'all to really pay attention to how he evades the Greek word for conceive. Because clearly he thinks that begat and born are the, of, I mean, of course, they're the same word in Greek, but he didn't want to deal with the word conceive being translated into the Greek because that's the same word, too. So as I say, you know, what about conceive? He evades it and he asks more questions. No, who is the person? Like, who is the subject matter right now? We uh like in verse sixteen, Joseph, you know, it's we, Joseph. Get to talk about Christ. It end off on Christ. Right here on the paper, it says Jesus, of whom was born Jesus. So it's literally directly talking about Joseph. Can you go into the Greek and tell me that word for that word right there, born? What is the Greek word for that word born right there? Geneo. And what does that mean? Born. What does no? We said the Greek jumps the English. What is that word right there? Is it the same word that was used 30 times before we read this verse? In every single verse, two to three times, which clearly let us know that a man was sleeping with a woman. Is it the same word, yes or no? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the same word. Okay. So what does this mm -hmm. word imply? Sex, right? No. I'm looking at the word if you Janeo. See no, no, I'm with you. Does that mean yes? <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. Yes. The word Janeo is there. Yes. I'm okay, so that means sex. Like me and you just taught the audience, right? Okay, I'm with you. That that means sex. Like me and you just taught the audience, right? You say is that sex? No, if it's being born. Where is because when we talk about begat, right? We talking about coming from the loins of, right? Because when we talk about begat, right? We talking about coming from the loins of, right? Brother, we're Wait, talking yes or no? about. Okay, ask me again, brother. Okay, if, if we if we using the word begat and not born, are we talking about coming through the loins of? No, brother, it's the same word. It's talking about coming from the loins of, yes. No, brother, it's the same word. It's talking about coming from the loins of, yes. Uh, he confuses himself. Because I think he liked to hear himself talk. That's why you're on Clubhouse a lot. But the word begat and born is the same word. But the word begat and born is the same word. Uh, he confuses himself. Because I think he liked to hear himself talk. That's why you're on Clubhouse a lot. But uh, it's translated two different ways. It means okay. nothing, brother. It's translated two different ways. It means okay. nothing, brother. Uh, he confuses himself. Because I think he liked to hear himself talk. That's why you're on Clubhouse a lot. But, uh... Wait, isn't verse 24 and 25 after the sex? Yes or no? I could play the same thing. Doesn't it say conceive? <laughs> um, you know, I want y'all to really pay attention to how he evades the Greek word for conceive. Because clearly he thinks that begat and born are the, of, I mean, of course, they're the same word in Greek, but he didn't want to deal with the word conceive being translated into the Greek because that's the same word, too. Strong's G, 1080, Ganao, Ganao. Strong's G, 1537, Ek, Ek. 
Strong's G, 1080. Ganao. Ganao. So as I say, you know, what about conceive? He evades it and he asks us more questions. I, I okay, look, I told you it says Janeo. I said that already. And, and, and who is the subject matter in verse 16? Okay, when you say the subject matter, are you yeah. saying by the cause of her yeah. getting pregnant is being conceived? Right there, by it's after she was pregnant. We're not we're not it's in verse 24 and 25. It's in verse 24 and 25 after when Mary was pregnant. Yes or no? After she was pregnant? Yes. yes. Okay, so why are you mentioning what happens after she was pregnant? We're not we're not we're not addressing what happened after she was pregnant. We're addressing what was the cause of her getting pregnant. She didn't. Okay. The okay. Right okay. Now. Okay. Okay. The cause of her yeah. getting pregnant is being conceived right there, by the 16. Holy Ghost. Right there, verse sixteen. It says Janeo. Yes. I could play the same thing. Doesn't it say conceive? Brother, why didn't you answer my question? Pregnant is being conceived right there, by verse the 16. Holy Ghost. Right there, verse sixteen. It says Janeo. Yes. I could play the same thing. Doesn't it say conceive? Brother, why didn't you answer my question? All right, so there y'all have it. Um, y'all heard it, right? Y'all heard it. Y'all heard everything he said um, and how he evade um, me telling him, you know, what about conceive? Go ahead and say that conceive is also the same Greek word for begat and born. And he did not want to continue the conversation. He was evading that because it destroys everything that, he, that he's coming with. And it actually proves my point even more. So, um, you know, I really don't like dealing with argumentative, you know, uh, brothers in the truth who don't want to deal with things scholarly. And uh, you could kind of see that by the way that he, you know, he handled himself. And if I would have played the entire thing, you know, you would have you, you would have heard this whole group is just not of the most high. But anyway, that's neither here or there. Um, I got the book open. I got the Mitri off. Let's get into what is what it's saying here. And I want to show you exactly, you know, what they believe in and why that's wrong and why they don't want to deal with that word conceived being in verse 20. So here is what I was saying. I was saying that what about conceive in verse 20? Because conceive, begat and born all have the same Greek word, which is, I said it on the video, geneo, which I think is geno. Um, and that means a bunch of things. It means like procreate, coming from the loins of the man, um, particularly the man, born meaning particularly from the woman coming from the womb. You know what I'm saying? When you be, when it's begat, it's from the man's loins. When it's born, it's from the woman's womb. And when it speaks of conceive, of the Holy Ghost in verse 20, that's why you have to go to Luke because you'll see how she did conceive because it was spoken to in existence and that's how the Holy Spirit works. That's how the Holy Ghost works. The Ruach, uh, the Ruach Kwa Kadash, right? Um, that's how it works, all right? The Most High speaks things into existence and us as little gods, we can speak things into existence as well, but the Most High can speak things into existence in the physical and happen like that. You know what I'm saying? Read Genesis. He spoke things into existence in Genesis. Genesis 1, that's speaking things into, in, into existence. When you look at Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai was rebuking the waves with his words. You understand what I'm saying? So, when you're dealing with the Holy Ghost, it's speaking the things into existence. If I'm a way, if I'm a bring this person, if I'm a bring this person right here um, from the dead, I have to speak that into existence. And that's exactly what they was doing when they were healing people. They were speaking into the existence. If you believe in the most high God, uh, you know, and you'll do all the law, statutes, and commandments, you will be healed. Get up. You know what I'm saying? And you got a paralyzed man getting up and he ain't never stood up for 20 years because they spoke that into existence. That's how the Holy Ghost work. 
And he didn't want to, he didn't want me to go to Luke. He's talking about, look, you know why you're going to Luke? Because you're running from 16 and woo, 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 woo. Narcissistic. Brother like hearing himself. That's why he got a clubhouse. He don't even show his face. Well, the, the clear indication uh, is, you know, who is verse 16 talking about? And he's saying verse 16 is all about Joseph. But I'm like, clearly it ends off on Christ. And when you read one and one, it begins with the telling you this is the generations of Christ. For, so verse 16 and 17 is all about Christ. Um, we we get Joseph in there, but then you got Mary in there right in the middle. And this is the first time that I've seen um, in the New Testament, um, I mean, in the old, where the genealogy is, you know, it has a woman in there and that woman is Mary. Um, and it's a reason because it says husband of Mary. Now, check this out. Mary of whom was born Yahweh Shai. That's why that's in there. Because Yahweh Shai was born of Mary and of the Holy Ghost, verse 20. And you know, one of the main things we say as virgin birth believer Israelites is the fact that it doesn't say that Joseph begat Christ at all, at all. And the brother said to himself, he said, uh, begat does mean come from the loins of the man. So stop trying to prove that Yahweh Shai came from the loins of the man. When you agree with me, you know what I'm saying? This brother is clearly off his rocker. I had a very hard time speaking to him because he was so drunk off the doctrine, right? Because nowhere in the Bible does it tell us that Joseph begat Christ. All we know is that Mary is of whom was born Christ. That's it. That's it. That's all we know. And then the other thing we know is the fact that Christ was conceived or Mary was conceived of the Holy Ghost and he didn't want to deal with now, that. This is what they are saying. They're saying this. Um, verse 16 is where they had sex because that word born is there. And verse 16 is all about Joseph. Uh, Joseph. And you heard me in a video. I said, no, verse 16 is about Yahweh Shai. They said, no, it's about Joseph. And this is where they had sex at because that word born is there. So you're telling me that Mary has sex with the Holy Ghost? Bro, that's blasphemous. You know what I'm saying? That's that that's very carnal for one. And I, you know, that's 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 ignorant. How can she have sex with the Holy Ghost? But he didn't want to go there. The entire video, he did not want to go there. Um, so that's what they believe. They believe that verse 16 is where Jacob or where Joseph and Mary has sex. And they say that because when you go to verse 25 and you and you read uh, our verse 24, and I'm going to just read to the end. Uh, Angel of the Lord uh, had bidden him and took unto him his wife and he knew her not. This is verse 25 or 25. And he knew her not till she had brought forth her first uh, firstborn son. So when we say, and he knew her not, meaning that he never had sex with her until after Yahweh was born. They say, no, they had sex in 16. And verse 25 is just telling you while the baby was in her stomach, they didn't have sex. This is the doctrine of the Ebionites that I was telling you about. These niggas is off they rocker. Excuse, excuse my French, but they are off they rocker. They're drunk off their doctrine and they're delusional. You heard it in the video. They're very delusional. They're very prideful. You heard the moderators hitting the buzzer beater and all the sound effects. Every time I was saying something, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't even get a good dialect going. And if this was an Edomite, the, the entire thing would have been different. They would have been showing respect like like slaves. You know what I'm saying? They still got that slave mentality. They don't think that they, you know, that when they looking at another black man or speaking to another black man, that's God. You know what I'm saying? It's a king. You know what I mean? It's a priest. You know what I'm saying? Every, every black man is a king, but they don't have that mindset. They still stuck in that slave mentality. You know what I'm saying? Because I bet you if this was a, if, if they was debating the Edomite, they would have let him speak. You would have heard no buzzer beater, no, none of that. No sound effects, no going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it is what it is. That's how you know we still destroyed. Um, we got to wake up, man. We got to do better. So yeah, um, Go ahead and run that back, though. Go ahead and run that back. And um, 
you know, until next time. I got another one I'm going to put up. But right now, I'm going to tell y'all, Shalom, peace and blessings, and love. Zion.